Our project is MindSkills. We are developing a smartwatch that improves, helps uh, players improve their skills and connect with the community. So our project um, started as a community to help people find um, players around them when they were missing someone to play with. And then we developed uh, the, the smartwatch that will help the players um, measure their skills and train smarter. All right, Ted, can we play the first video? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this works. Okay, one second. Okay. Okay, it's playing. has been played and I'm going to go back to your slide deck, okay? Alright, so let's go to the, the next slide. It's on page three right now. Yeah, page three. Alright, so uh, this is a very important fact uh, that we found uh, making surveys, talking to people, researching on the internet, and the fact is that more than 70% of young players don't make it to semi-pro or pro players Mostly because they quit too early. Um, can we go to the next one? So, what's the main problem? The main problem um, is, is one that players uh, they lose interest in the sports that they're playing. Uh, if they don't find it uh, so interesting as Start new people to play with. Um, <laughs> there are other parts, other areas that are not taken care of, like nutrition, uh, how to eat properly. When you're uh, young, you don't know how to eat properly, you don't know uh, what type of food you should eat before, during, and after training, um, how to avoid injuries. Um, it's difficult to connect with new players or new people around your community and most importantly it's very difficult to measure your skills to measure how uh, you're improving if there are certain skills that are not improving as fast as others unless you have a personal trainer looking after you and telling you what you're doing right what you're doing wrong it's difficult to measure yourself so those are the main problems uh, for young athletes uh, next slide, please. Uh, Ted? Yeah, okay, we're on the value proposition. Yeah, so what are we proposing? Um, my skills uh, will help players quantify their... will help players uh, quantify their skills. With the watch, they'll be able, um, through machine learning and big data, to improve their skills and analyze their game. Uh, we will help them to create good nutrition habits, good eating habits before, during, and after training. Uh, we'll help them measure their uh, muscle overloads so they can prevent injuries. And uh, one of the most important features of our project is a community. We will help them find uh, players to play with around their area. We will help them. Uh, to share this uh, information from their skills within a specific platform for sportsmen that is something that we don't have yet. You know, there are platforms for 
every type of hobby. There are specific platforms for traveling, for finding restaurants, for anything you want. But there is not a specific platform for sports. So this is a project that we already have in South America, but we want to replicate and bring this to China. OK. Uh, the next slide, please. So the main features are big counter, smart alarm, and heat map. Uh, and then we have some added value um, features, which are nutrition, injuries, and the community. So which are the main features and the benefits? The first one is the smart alarm. Uh, this will collect the information that you provide about your game and will create uh, alarms to let you know when you're entering some critical part of your game. So for example, if you are uh, scoring uh, a lot of good shots, a lot of good double points when you're playing basketball, for example, you're scoring a lot of double points in the first 30 minutes of your game. but from the minute 30 to the 60, your efficiency decreased considerably from 70 to 20%. Yeah. So um, the smart alarm will let you know that you're entering this critical point of your game. The counter is a feature that will help you um, count your skills. So you'll be able to say how many double points you're scoring, how many you're missing how many triple points you're scoring or missing, and that will give you your efficiency rate. And the heat map, that's the one that's going to tell you which part of the field you're moving. If you're moving correctly, if your skills are coherent with your movements. So this will help you analyze your game a lot better. Then we have the nutrition. Um, in the nutrition, we'll have a few features like deadly water reminder, what type of food you need to eat before, during, and after the game. Uh, we have the MySkill com community, which um, if you want to play, but you're missing one or two players to complete a team, this will help you connect with people around your area that wants to play um, and injuries. That This is mostly for muscle overloads. So you can register. Uh, some specific injuries that you've been having, and um, the app will measure what you were doing before you got you got injured. Before you you got injured, and uh, so it, it, it will it will tell you when injure again, right? So it will prevent uh All right, Ted, can we play then the the second video? Okay, one second, I'm gonna play the second video. Okay. Okay, uh, we just played the second video and I'm going back to the slide deck. We're on um, the 10th slide now, my profile. Okay, so as you saw in the two videos, uh, one is uh, to explain how the community works, um, how the injury works. The second one is to explain the counter, which is one of our main features. And if uh, users can use the counter properly, all the other tips will be perfect as they have. So uh, with the counter, they can and to share it with the community. So the slack that you see now, this is how files come up. The profile is displayed. 
you have a uh, comp you have um, some specific information like salary, uh, average speed, uh, you have some you have your injuries of how many days you've been and how is your battery if yes or if you continue playing for a long time you have the lead up and you click winning. And the next slide you see how players will be able to pair their skill the community with her friends, uh, with their friends, with their peers who play sports with them. But this can also be very important to share, for example, coaches, coaches from diversity, coaches from co teams. So we want to create a platform where it's very specific uh, with enforcement and can become like a uh, for pro and pro players and so. Now we're gonna go a little into the Chinese market, which is uh, focused now. We live in Shenzhen. We make. Uh, we know the province very well. So we do establish our business here. We have our factory here. And the Chinese smart watch market is the biggest in the world. It has a, a $5.8 billion credit this year, which is a huge uh, market value. There are so many uh, brands coming out. So we can see in the next slide, we can see the top of the market which China is uh, bigger than any other country by far. Almost three billion. And in the next slide, um, some in a competitive analysis of the Chinese market. So first, China is the highest market for us, mark what the world. Second is that uh, uh, or that took them focus only in lifestyle and watch, not them focus on very specific niche like sports like us. We are to start in each I think focus on their They're mostly focused in a lifestyle kind of watch. It are players from 15 to 20 years old. It's an unfit market because most of the watches are between 20 and 35 years old. So, third generation is not being a. But in China, this is a very, very market, especially for the family culture, the family church that in both has. And there is even 20% of population are kids under 15 years old. And all these kids are of potential. And last one, uh, there are over 100 and in China. So the sports culture is all very strong. In the next slide, we'll see the between my skills and other very famous brands like Apple uh, As you can see, the more focus in the selfie, none of these big competitive uh, very big focus on sports for Garmin, but they're also very different. In the next slide, we'll see a more channels, how we're gonna and how uh, uh, distribute our product. So the first one is with Kickstarter. We have a campaign plan for well, Kickstarter to We already did a campaign for, uh, very successful and for science, uh, the technology developed so now. 
And now we'll have a second one. Then we have the local will help us uh, spread the new product uh, within our own community. And then we have very big public channels like Taobao, AD, uh, these are e com platforms which are very, very famous in China and they sell a lot of products and very close to these channels. And last one is take a spot. Free store with which we have already had a lot of uh, we have a very good delay to fix it in Betsy store here in China and we may be able to sell our stuff there. So that will give us a presence and retail store. In the next slide we'll see how we start to distribute the production. I'm sorry, how to distribute. So it will go to production and develop monthly improve app improving the features and, and then we have marketing promote the product and the operation next one we have the financial plan so our factory the factory products the two factories the watches and so the first time when we did that, we negotiated a first batch of purple, which will be with a little bit of a high price because we put like the new watch and all. But from the second batch of production, our cost will go to half. So from the second of the our revenues will double. Um, so that's a, a general of look where the costs of production and it's our plan to sell. We want to make a very profit that is also affordable. We want uh, the cost around 150 dollars. It will be able to drop around hundred dollars batch of production. And in some of the um, we have our team, we have the team uh, at Vietnam with our graphic design we have a team of software developers prepared and product advisors and installation. And that's that. Thank you.